Hey guys, welcome back to Diamond Nest Egg as we continue with our student loan repayment series. I'm Jennifer, money coach, personal finance guru, and student loan expert to Gen Zers and young millennials. We've been busy comparing student loan lenders lately. Last week, we talked about our lender of choice, Common Bond. This week, we're going to review our two other go-to lenders for student loan refinancing, Earnest and SoFi. By the end of this video, you'll know all the pluses and minuses of refinancing with both Earnest and SoFi so that you can make the best refinancing choice for your financial situation. To learn everything about saving, investing, and retirement, and to kickstart your debt-free, financially-free transformation, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. We're here every Sunday with the latest and greatest money moves from New York. With interest rates at an all-time low, we've been busy the past few months helping many of our clients refinance their student loans and pay off their debt as quickly and smartly as possible. Depending on their loan balance and their repayment schedule that works best for them financially, our clients save on average anywhere between $200 to $300 every month after refinancing. If you're shopping for a lender to refinance your student loans with, and don't meet common bonds eligibility requirements, both Earnest and SoFi are strong alternatives to consider because they also have some of the lowest interest rates in the market. Watch on though, interest rates are not the only thing that matter. Yes, of course, it's one of the most important factors, but there are also other similarly important factors to consider depending on your financial situation. So let's get started. Here are the minimum requirements you'll need to qualify for refinancing with Earnest and SoFi. First, you'll need a stable, consistent income. And second, you need a credit score of at least 650 for Earnest and somewhere in the mid to high 600s for SoFi. SoFi is a bit vague on this. The quickest way to check your credit score is via Credit Karma. I've included the Credit Karma, Earnest, and SoFi links all in the description below. You can easily set up an account with Credit Karma and grab your scores without any impact to your credit report. At the time of this taping, Earnest's lowest rate is 1.99% on a variable five-year loan. SoFi's is 2.26%. We recommend checking your rates with both lenders to get a sense of the options and interest rates that are available to you. Again, the links for Ernest and SoFi and Credit Karma are below this video. Do you have any idea what the interest rate you're paying on your student loan is right now? Are you on track to pay them off soon or is it looking more kind of like never? Drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. I'm going to begin with Ernest first because I feel they have an edge over SoFi in a few areas that our clients value the most. The first reason for choosing Earnest is because they take into account other financial factors beyond your income stability and credit score, factors that other lenders often ignore. So what are these factors that Earnest looks at in addition to your income and credit score? Well, they look at things such as your emergency fund, your retirement accounts, and other savings balances when deciding whether to approve you for a loan and the interest rate that you will get. Building out an emergency fund and contributing towards retirement are the first two most basic things that we do with our clients, along with paying down debt, which means that our clients tend to get better interest rates when they go to earnest. Take a look at our videos here on how to start saving smarter each month. If you want to learn more about how to start building your emergency fund out and how much you should have in your emergency fund, as well as how to give your savings a bit of a boost. The second reason Ernest has an edge over SoFi is because Ernest lets you customize your loan term to anywhere between five and 20 years. Your loan term is basically how long it will take you to fully pay off your loan. SoFi, on the other hand, like many other student loan lenders, only offers 5, 7, 10, 15, and 20-year loans. So why does that even matter, right? Because your monthly repayment amount is determined by the interest rate on your loan as well as your loan term. 
So say, for example, that you currently have $200,000 in student loan debt at an interest rate of 8% that will take you eight years to pay off. And you get a refinancing offer on a new loan from SoFi for 7%. A lower interest rate means you save money, right? Well, the answer is it depends. I know, I hate that answer too. The issue here though, is that you have an eight year loan. And SoFi, like most other lenders, doesn't offer eight year loan terms, which means you'll need to choose between the next shorter loan term of seven years or the next longer loan term of 10 years. If you choose seven years, you actually end up paying $191 more every month because you're paying your loan off one year earlier. It's a number we've circled in red. So month to month, you're not saving anything, but because you're paying your loan off earlier in seven years instead of eight years, even though you're paying more every month, over the lifetime of the loan, the total interest you pay is less. That's the number we've circled in blue, your overall savings. If on the other hand, you choose to refinance your eight year loan to a longer loan term of 10 years, you'd save over $505 every month. But in the long run, because it takes you two years longer to pay everything off, you end up paying over $7,000 more in interest. Do you know how much you can afford each month? If not, you should work this number out before making a decision on the refinancing process. Download our popular financial guide and grab the budgeting template in it and figure out how much you can afford each month. There's a link in the description below this video. With Ernest, because you can choose the exact loan term you want, so long as it's between five and 20 years, you can choose to refinance your 8% eight year loan into a 7% eight year loan. Not any shorter, not any longer. And what happens in this case is that you lower your monthly payment and you save on the total interest paid in the long run. I've also included a link in the description below to a student loan refinancing calculator. You can play around with it and see how adjusting your interest rate and your loan term might affect your short and your long-term savings. Moving on now to the third reason for choosing Ernest, and that is the greater flexibility they give you in the event that you lose your job or have your hours cut. If you find yourself in financial hardship and unable to make your payments, both Ernest and SoFi will let you postpone your payments for 12 months via forbearance. With Ernest though, you can skip a payment once every 12 months. And if you ever want longer term relief, for example, if it takes you longer to find work than you expected, or if you want to go back to school, you can work with Ernest to change your repayment term or interest rate. Ernest also doesn't have late fees in case you do miss a payment, where SoFi charges $5 once your payment is 15 days overdue. These are all the reasons why Ernest is our go-to lender when our clients are not eligible to refinance with Common Bond. Both Ernest and Common Bond are good options when it comes to refinancing your student loans, but Common Bond is our lender of choice for many reasons. You can look at the video over here to find out why, as well as to learn more about Common Bond's eligibility requirements, which are fairly specific. I've also included the link to Common Bond in the description below this video. Let's talk a bit about SoFi now. We think SoFi is a very good alternative for most folks who are not eligible for refinancing via Common Bond and Earnest. So where does SoFi stand out? The area where it stands out is that SoFi, like Common Bond, will allow you to transfer parent loans into your name. Earnest won't do that. The second thing is that SoFi, also like Common Bond, will allow you to refinance during a medical or dental residency. Ernest will also not do this. For those of you that are working towards a medical, dental, or legal degree, certain special discounts may apply, so don't forget to bring this up with your lender. Listen, I know that refinancing your student loans, especially if you have huge amounts of them, 
can be super confusing and frustrating. We do this regularly with our clients and I know how thrilled they are when we're there to help them through the refinancing process. If you have any questions or you feel overwhelmed with the refinancing process, do reach out to us at hello at diamondnestic.com and schedule a student loan strategy session to see if we can help you narrow down your options because there are a lot of them. Moving ahead to the third reason for choosing SoFi or Common Bond over Earnest. And it's a SoFi and Common Bond will allow you to apply with a co-signer. Earnest won't do that. The fourth area where SoFi stands out is that they offer other financial products like personal loans and investment accounts, not just student loans. So if you're someone like me who likes to simplify your finances and not have accounts spread across several banks, SoFi might be an option for you. Simplifying your finances by having fewer accounts, fewer payment methods, and fewer banks to deal with is a best practice that I highly encourage with our clients. The more you have, the harder it is to manage your finances. Take a look at this video here to learn more about this and other money habits that are keeping you poor. And the fifth perk for refinancing via SoFi is their member benefits, such as career coaching and community events. If you'll take advantage of these extras, it could make sense to take a look at SoFi. So basically, there are a lot of factors to consider when choosing a lender to refinance with. A lower interest rate is a key factor, but whether you decide to go with Earnest, SoFi or Common Bond will depend on your specific financial circumstances, such as whether you need a co-signer, greater repayment flexibility, or whether you're refinancing during a residency, just to name a few. Now, for those of you that are looking into refinancing, especially if you have federal student loans, check out our student loan series right here. Take a look at it first to learn more about the federal student loan repayment options available to you the most common mistakes to avoid when refinancing your student debt, and equally important, the factors that lenders look for when they decide whether or not to approve you for refinancing. These factors include items such as your income stability, your credit score, and your debt to income ratio. Also, it makes sense to pre-qualify with multiple lenders before you apply. If you go to any of their websites, you can input some personal information, such as your name, your social security number, your address, your loan balances and interest rates. And the lenders will let you know if you're likely to be approved and at what rate. It only takes a few minutes and it won't impact your credit score at all. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you being a part of our personal finance community. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified immediately every Sunday when we post another money saving wealth building video. We have lots more great stuff coming up on investing and retirement. And if you have any refinancing questions at all that you want to speak to a human being about, shoot us an email at hello at diamondnestate.com or simply hang around and check out our other videos on how to create the debt free, financially free life you've always wanted.